Oh boy. Am I about to enter the, the world of YTPC drama? I've heard so much about it. Now, obviously, I present among the YTPC, that is the YouTube pipe community, but truthfully, I tend to keep to myself, not meddle in the affairs of other folks. I watch extremely casually when I get the chance, but honestly, it's not that often. But when I do, gosh, I, I love, I love the drama. Now, I never know what's going on since I peep in, you know, when everything is already climaxed. Normally, I just stumble upon the commotion after hearing remnants from friends like you guys in the Galactic Get Pipe Pipe Club our online Discord page, and I think definitely the largest and most active Discord for pipes. That has to be true. But anyway, regardless, I'm not in the business of starting drama, mainly because I don't have thick skin, but what I do have is a bunch of opinions and counter ideas to spark discussion. But I think I'm gonna do it. I think I might do it. I'm, I'm gonna do it. This is a call out. I'm calling you out, doctor. I'm calling you out, Mr. Pipe Cop. Well met friends, my name is Adam and this is Get Piped, where we love to pipe. And today's piping will be all about a brand new thing that's been gaining some attention in the pipe smoking world. And that thing is the Pipe Crate, a, a curated subscription box for pipe smoking enthusiasts. Pipe Crate is a tobacco only box that just launched earlier this year, May of 2023. So no, this is not a Pipe Cottage call out video that was pretty much just clickbait slash listen bait. And, and I bet he'll get a kick out of this if he happens to see this. But what I will offer is an opposing viewpoint on the subscription boxes and, and why I think that they're pretty cool and can absolutely be worth it. Also, if you're not already, be sure to subscribe to the Get Piped YouTube channel and the Get Piped podcast found on all hosting platforms where Mr. Alan Harrelson from the Pipe Cottage will soon be interviewed. This episode will be super hot. We'll be putting him on the spot in the hot seat, asking him about his experiences with pipes, his origin story, his take on being a Southern gentleman, his thoughts on if the pipe hobby is dying, how he deals with backlash, why he gets backlash, and, and much, much more. It's going to be quite interesting. Again, just make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel as well as the podcast so you can keep an eye out for that eventual launch. I do, however, want to use Alan's video as somewhat of a guide to argue against. And of course, I have no ill intentions here, nor any financial gain. I have the same box that Pipe Crate sent to me and I was not paid to say anything nor was I even necessarily asked to make a video on it. I did instead talk about it on my podcast that I had just mentioned. This video is really meant to clarify those last points, give some updates on the crate moving forward and conclude with my updated takeaways. You can go find that original audio piece by searching the Get Pipe podcast on your favorite hosting platform and that's going to be episode 069. But I really encourage you to check out Alan's video over on his channel, The Pipe Cottage. But yeah, I think that's important to clarify. I actually had the opportunity to meet Alan from The Pipe Cottage over at the Country Squire Radio's 500th episode event. And man, I'm telling you, he was an absolute sweetheart. Very kind and polite, a polite gentleman who came up to me to tell me that he loves what I'm doing and wanted to shake my hand. And that might be surprising to some of you. And, and, and Alan's not oblivious to this either. And I'm not either. He can absolutely have some pretty hot takes and he's he's absolutely been thrashed in the comments sometimes for it. But I would remind you all that he's making content for himself only. If folks want to join in and engage with that content, he invites them to. Other than that, it's for him. And I would argue that that approach is not dissimilar to mine. I too like to present on topics and ideas that are in my own mind and what folks do with that information is up to them. But at the end of the day, it's my channel and I'm very, very proud of all of my videos. Okay, so while I'll be using Mr. Harrelson's discussion on Pipe Crate as a guide to formulate this video, I do mean no disrespect nor animosity. Instead, I see it as two 21st century gentlemen having a discussion through video. And that's how we learn today and how capitalism gets better, right? All right, so let's talk about this the pipe crate package as i had mentioned pipe crate is a brand new subscription box 
for the pipe and tobacco enthusiast. The current model, again, in terms of day one launch is a tobacco only subscription box shipped monthly to your door. The intent here and really the product you're paying for is the curation of the fine tobaccos to try for your next pipe. To understand his business model, and that is Michael Thomas, a pipe smoker with an idea, we need to take a look at the identified problem set that he is trying to solve. Because if we understand the problem, then perhaps the, the product can in turn provide more value than it otherwise would have on the surface. As a pipe smoker himself, Mr. Thomas found that tobacco is cool. Like really, really cool. So cool that he wanted to continue to try and try more and more blends. Now, not like Ash Ketchum who somehow caught them all, the reality is that he nor you will be able to try all the tobaccos that are in circulation right now. But if you were to try, where would you start? Of course, the recommendations from others, maybe reviews online, maybe one of the several blends readily available at your local brick and mortar store if you're lucky enough to have one close by. But the reality is folks often get so overwhelmed at the hundreds and, and hundreds of options that are out there. They either revert back to the blends that they've already enjoyed or just put a pin in the trial process altogether, claiming they'll, they'll get back to it at a later date. And that is absolutely what I do. I have abandoned at least 50 or so smoking pipes, carts, or pipes and cigars, country squire carts filled with random tobaccos, but the decision to pull the trigger was ultimately fleeting as, as the list of options and what ifs and other questions blocked me out of my decision. Okay, maybe not the country squire carts, but, but others for sure. So what Pipecrate does is it makes a decision for you. Pipecrate is a three tobacco trial box that allows you to worry less about selections and, and worry more about trying the new blends in various pipe shapes, materials, and environments. This is his neat fix. We see coffee subscriptions all the time popping up and they all seek to answer the same problem set. What coffee? Why this? Why not that? Doesn't matter. Someone else is going to make that decision for you. And now you're going to try it because it's already in your mailbox. That alone is a product. That curation process is a product. And it's something I'd love to see grow within the pipe smoking community. Now, I'm not here to put a dollar amount on, on that value, but it certainly does have a value. I'm talking outside of the physical value of the goods therein. And for that, I have to take on one of the major current counterpoints of this product, the cost. At the time of airing, Pipecrate will send you a single box every month for $48.99. Now that's with shipping, which is actually a pivot that is live right now, today as of June 3rd, 2023. Now, what I'm not interested in here is discussing finances and, and whether or not $50 a month is worth it or not in terms of one's means. What I am interested in discussing is how this subscription box and everything within is at a value worth $50 to the folks who have the desire and the means. Am I making that distinction clear enough? A, a good example would be like a Rolex, right? I am not in the market for a Rolex, not because of the price, I mean, absolutely, I cannot afford one, but because I just have no desire. So subjectively, it's not worth and won't ever be worth the $15,000 it is to purchase one. But objectively, they're pretty close to that worth, right? Part of that $15,000 valuation is in the brand and the name. So something that absolutely matters to folks who are into design and fashion. A majority of it is its material, you know, 18 and 24 karat golds and platinums and diamonds, other rocks high quality steels and crazy sapphire, scratch resistant glasses. Those components objectively make the product worth the asking price. That alongside the name, the designers, the expertise and the function of telling time, albeit that last one is probably worth seven cents at this point, but still, <laughs> I'd like to follow this line of thinking. I wanna extrapolate on that objective or subjective thinking for the Rolex is worth and then apply it to the pipe crate. I'll start by saying you cannot get all three tobacco products from a single retailer. The idea is to place quality tobaccos from varying tobacconists in a single box for you to try. The first month featured a bulk blend from CND, a tin from Mac Baron, and an artisanal blend from the Country Squire tobacconist. So shopping at at least two retailers means two sets of shipping costs. Now I'll overlay the cost breakdown on the screen for you right now. Add your sales tax and shipping and you'll find the price point to be pretty similar. The bottom line is that six ounces of tobacco from varying locations will likely yield a price point around $50 today. And that's what you're paying for a single pipe crate. And on top of that, you get a curation process, right? 
the entire point of the product. You're paying for a subscription box to deliver magic to your door once a month. It's like Christmas 13 times a year. December has to be like the greatest month to be a Pipe Crate subscriber. Your crate solves a problem, and that is an unrealized value. It's the magic of capitalism. I'd imagine Venezuela's Pipe Crate ain't that great. I'm just saying. But we can't forget the quality of the packaging either, right? This is where I'll divert the greatest from some of the opposition and, and really Alan for bringing it up. I think this package is awesome. It's pretty, it's exciting, it's enticing, and it has tons of room for future branding opportunities. Sure, if we ask the question in a vacuum, do you want to pay extra for your pipe tobacco? If so, it comes with a really fancy bag or box. Of course, everyone's going to say no to that. In fact, I'd want to smack the individual who just asked me that. But the reality is that you nor I wouldn't want it any other way. There's a reason the box to a Rolex cost, what, $500 or something? The presentation matters. Now, I've not been, nor will I ever be in the market for that Rolex I've been talking about, but if I walked in and they said, hey, we're having a $500 off promotion, all you gotta do is buy the watch, and then I say, okay, cool, then he takes the watch, throws the box behind the desk, puts it in a Ziploc bag, writes a little Sharpie writing, hey, Rolex, here you go. Hell no. Now, I still don't think I'd say, no, charge me the extra 500, I'll take the box, but still, it would not be conducive for a legitimate business that that business would fail. It, it just wouldn't work. Presentation matters, and Pipegrade is risking their own profit so you receive a quality product every single month. Again, we've established that just in tobacco and shipping alone, you're pretty much paying for the value of the product, the physical goods, so everything additional is now being fitted by the business's end, and that business is one guy. Michael Thomas, a pipe smoker just like you and me. So yeah, if he happened to be a super rich dude who was also getting all of the tobacco for $3 and then putting it on a pretty box and charging you 50 for it, yeah, that would not be worth it. That would be objectively not worth it. But it's not. But he's not. Now, he does get a wholesaler rate, but that extra savings and cost of tobacco allows him to provide useful, reusable packages, which is exactly why that's a cut to his profits and not necessarily a cut to your value. I love these reusable bags. First thing I'm going to do is dump the entire thing of old Joe Krantz out and refill it with the real Burley like something from LJ Peretti or Mac Barron's Burley Flake. I kid, I kid. Old Joe Krantz is still consistently one of the most popular Burley blends out there. I just can't stand it. I did at one point. I had a Nirvana smoke with it the very first time I tried it. And then I think I touched on it in this channel or maybe on the podcast or an article I wrote. I don't know. I was gassing it up. And in reality, all 10 subsequent smokes, I couldn't stand. They were just not good. And yeah, this is, this is my tell-all. But yeah, man, I think it's pretty sweet. It's something that adds some flair and fun to the hobby. And I think we all have a, a deep worry that government regulation will eventually lead this practice to the grave. Markets and stores are afraid of tobacco and are slowly removing all of the products from their shelves. Currently, pipes are to a degree protected, it seems, as they're still generally seen as a craft or an honest man or woman's work. But tobacco surely doesn't receive any positive treatment in any sphere. So with that, I can't help but get excited when a new tobacco product enters the market. It's refreshing and, and almost nerve easing. And I guess that's ultimately the reason why I'm big in on pipe crate. That and the 50 abandoned shopping carts looming over me with all that tobacco that I still need to try. <laughs> At least Pipe Crate can solve that problem for me, little by little. But it gets even better. I will add that as of June 1st, 2023, Pipe Crate is getting even better. Michael is disregarding any and all business advice and, and rules really regarding to recommended profit margins. And instead, he's introducing a second addition to the Pipe Crate line, the Classic Collection. The Classic Collection Live right now is an entry-level crate that offers an incredible price point of just $32.99 with free shipping. The package will differ, including three one-ounce tobacco trial bags from three different tobacconists, and I love this. I love this crate. When I decide to try a new tobacco, I like to get one ounce, a true trial amount. The Pipe Crate Classic Collection affords you the opportunity to receive one ounce of high-quality tobacco three times. 
it's a great way to try more blends at a better price point and even smoking rate. Perhaps you're only a once or twice a week pipe smoker, then six ounces a month certainly won't do. No, that, that higher tier package, the, the one with the brand new sealed tin is, is the prestige edition. That edition is for folks who are, are dedicated one to two bowls a day, folks. Those are the pipe guys who would get the most out of that prestige edition. And that's why I love the current evolution of pipe crate. Pipe crate is just small scale enough to where Michael can pivot in response to subscriber feedback. It's just small enough to where I feel good about supporting an upcoming small tobacco business. And it's just small enough that I'm excited to get a trial edition of tobacco blends that in reality, I, I never would have found myself. I want to hear from you. Genuinely. What are your thoughts? Feel free to say just too expensive for me. If it's a subjective reason, maybe explain why or what you'd like to see differently. Something that would make you want to jump in. I love all of this kind of discussion and it makes it for an enjoyable read and discourse. It also helps me achieve my goal, my, my overarching goal to, to grow the sphere of pipe smoking, grow this hobby, continue its, its positive trend, continue this art, ensure that this art is not forgotten. For me, I'm really excited about this and I look forward to all the expansion possibilities moving forward. If you want to get into pipe crate and save 10% on your first month box, I got you covered. Head on over to pipecrate.com and before you slap that process order button, you can all input a lifetime active code dedicated exclusively to the get pipe community. And the code is get piped, get piped, no spaces to save that initial 10%. Now that's not an affiliate code. I don't make any money from the use of that code, nor do I want to. I'm just interested in growing pipe smoking. And that's worth far more to me than a potential one to two dollar payout per code or whatever. So I'll leave it at that. I hope some of you find value in this product like I do. In my view, as I had mentioned, it's just another way to grow this hobby. But for the folks who might want a zero dollar way to grow the hobby, consider subscribing to this YouTube channel as well as my podcast that I've talked about 15 times. If you haven't gotten the hint, perhaps sending this to a friend who might enjoy the same content. I will say I do really appreciate it. When you guys listen to the pod, when you watch the YouTube video and you share the thing and you rate the stuff, it does help that that algorithm with the expanse of this content to other pipe smokers. And I still make zero dollars from this. So I'm just, I just like pipe smoking, man. That That's what I like. <laughs> if you want to join the ultimate online pipe club, you can do so by clicking the free Discord link in the description below. Discord is a mobile app or a desktop app, and it can also be accessed through a web browser. Making an account is super easy. You can set up an alias or use your real name. Doesn't matter to me. And then by clicking that link in the description below, you'll get added to our galactic get piped pipe club. A club that transcends that of the national and international levels. We're talking galactic, baby. Ask any question about pipes or tobacco. Speak with the top artisan makers in the sphere, other like-minded pipe smokers like you and me, and even make content suggestions for the YouTube channel or the podcast. Discord is really great, and I'm happy to have over 550 of you already enjoying the club. But that will be it for me. You have all just been piped. And until the next piping, me, I'm out. You guys ever seen Flogging Molly? They have a song called Tobacco Island. What the hell we must have on the star ships or betos in a something or hunting in a something it's Tobacco Island. What are the words? What the hell we must sail. Sugar cane and men don't well, believe in. That haunts Tobacco Island. I wish I could put the song in here so I didn't sound so stupid. Maybe I will. Screw the copyright thing. Maybe this video will get flagged. Doesn't matter. I don't make money. That haunts Tobacco Island.